What's up, DTT fam? Noel here. In this video, we're going to talk about how alerts can automate your trading. Shut up and sit down. So you don't have to look at the screen 24 seven or for hours and hours or however long it takes. All you pretty much need is a trading setup you know, draw your trend lines, get you have your indicators ready, and you know, push your alerts. So you are alerted when the trade is confirmed or when the trade is printing, whether you want to be aggressive or not. So you can place a trade and you get to see the, your trading plan come into play and whether you want to make the trade based on how you, what you see and you get notified. So we're looking at Cardano here. Cardano has been, uh, you know, it's been, you know, it's, been surprised it's been down it's going down you know bitcoin's over 60k cardano's two dollars which i think is okay uh, i think it still eventually give us a buying opportunity it's just a lot of accumulation going on with cardano but anyways we have our trend line here we have a support trend line just click on it go to that little clock thing add alert it's a daily time frame, so if you want it to be confirmed for it to be a breakout long, which is more conservative and probably best to do because the entry will be confirmed. But in the crypto market, sometimes you want to be a little aggressive because how fast things can move. In this case, we'll do a more conservative approach, which is once per bar close, or you want to do once per bar. So if you want to go the conservative route, more safe route, you do once per bar close and you do greater than because that will mean the candle is above the trend line and it is closed. And if you want to go with a more aggressive approach, you do once per bar and you do crossing. Because right when it hits that trend line, once right when it's crossing there, you get you'll get notified and you can look to long, have your have your levels, have your have your entry, you can long it. That's for the trend line. In this case we're gonna do greater than once per bar close. Because I am very interested in this ADA trade. And then you can do the same thing for the support trend line you sometimes see reversals you know you see fake outs a lot in crypto as well just because how how little this market is right now it's growing it's growing it's going to grow exponentially but for the support we'll do a once per bar crossing more aggressive because i just want to see if there's going to be a fake out or we're going to be falling because if we you know if you do a less than and it's already closed and you know who knows it's already a big 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 fall so for the support one we're going to do a once per bar crossing and let our let our indicators tell us the rest. We got some key levels here also. Some daily support, you see the support there, the support there, and we got some daily resistance there. You can mark those levels as well. Crossing once per bar. I would do that because we're approaching that level. Moving on to our indicators for our volume really quick. If we want to do an alert on the volume, add an alert on the volume, you could do a, make sure you switch this to volume. Uh, let's say, you know, we wanted to make it where it's crossing the, the moving average. Because as we see here, once we start, once the moving average get above, we started seeing con consistent days over 400 million and stuff like that. So we could do that, or you just want to see the average that we see. You just put an alert there. You could right click, add alert at whatever volume price you see that is noticeable where we start getting some movement. For our TTM, if you wanted to put an alert on this one, add alert there. You could do, make sure you switch out a TTM, crossing plot once per bar close or once per bar, whatever time frame suits you. This plot is right here, the middle line. So once we get across there, whether you want a short or long. For our RSI, real quick, we got a downtrend. I like to do a greater than once per bar close here because that will give us confirm of a big RSI downtrend, juicy for a long. I love that. Breakout on the RSI. And then we have a MACD, add alert on that. Let's switch that to MACD. You do crossing histogram or whether you want it to be the signal line, which is the orange or the MACD, whether it's that. But let's do in this case histogram, crossing the zero line, once per bar close or once per bar if you want to go more aggressive. All depends on how you want to do it so yeah you can mark your levels you can put price alerts on your fibonacci your volume 
yeah, so if we get notified when this RSI breaks, when the MACD is crossing, when the John, when the downtrend is broken, all of our signals will probably give us confluence for a long or the other way is short, so you can make the trade.